Hi, I'm Matthew from The Critics, and this is uh, my next review from the Durban International Film Festival 2016 and one of its feature films, Motel Mist. So, Motel Mist follows the uh, seemingly disconnected stories um, of several people, as, uh, and what initially all connects them is that they all go to what is called Motel Mistress, uh, or to a place called Motel Mistress, which is basically a drive-in brothel. And uh, as the film progresses, their stories and lives become interconnected. Um, this is definitely not for younger audiences. Um, this is a very, very uh, strange and weird film. Um, in fact, half of the cinema walked out halfway through, which I don't entirely agree with. I think if you if you've read the synopsis that uh, the Durban Film Festival provides, uh, you should have been expecting some of the things. Um, it's very gratuitous, it's very sexual. Um, but that being, but all of that being said, uh, what did I think? So I think it was very slow. This, you're going to, you're going to feel the two hours <laughs> length, um, especially the last hour. I really loved the first hour, or the first part, or half. Uh, I loved how it set, oh, I really enjoyed how it set up the characters, I really enjoyed how it set up the story, there was a lot of intrigue. And then around about halfway-ish, there's two really good um, twists or moments of and moments of excitement that really begin to turn the story, uh, and those are, are well executed. Um, and I enjoy watching weird films. I enjoy watching films where there's and this film is v there's not much script. There's very it's very long sequences of very little happening and much a lot of silence, but. In that first bit, it always manages for me to keep me intrigued and to keep me interested, and in, uh, and the twists really made me think that this film was going somewhere. I just think that this film was let down in its latter half. I think that um, it became too artsy. I think it became um, it didn't it didn't know how to end off the story. So uh, we get some closure on some of the stories, but overall, one of the more interesting stories. Uh, we don't get any closure on. And yeah, you can say that that's because you need to see where it's going and interpret it, but ultimately you've stuck around. It's, as I said, the, the second hour is very slow. I think the first hour felt like half an hour, and the second hour felt like three hours. So you're sticking around, you're persevering, uh, there's not much payoff for your perseverance. I think there's like, there's one more slight twist, uh, but it's uh, it, it's not that unexpected, um, and really, like, for me, the biggest payoff in the end was why this movie is called Motel Mist when the motel is called Motel Mistress, uh, and, that's, and that's not an, an exciting reason to endure the second part of this film. Uh, I do think, as I said, I, I really enjoyed the beginning, I, I enjoyed its weirdness, uh, I even enjoyed some moments of its weirdness, but it became a little bit too painful. Uh, towards the end. And I was in the right mood. I mean, I was tired when I watched this film, but I managed to perk my energy up. I knew that I was watching something that was going to be weird and off the wall. I was looking forward to it. I was amped. I was in the right frame of mind to watch this type of movie. Uh, so it wasn't It wasn't how I was feeling at, at the time. Um, if, you, if you don't mind stories that don't get resolved, then this is for you. But if you, like most people who watch films and want some resolution, want to be able to take something, uh, to have some sort of definitive and or some, some degree of clarity, uh, because this, there is just so much unknown still at the end of this film, then I wouldn't recommend this movie for you. If you don't enjoy gratuitous things, this also isn't for you. And if you don't enjoy long silence, this movie also isn't for you. But if long silence, not getting closure, and weirdness are your things, then I could recommend Motelmas. But personally, not, not my favourite film. Not Definitely not the best film that I've seen at Durban International Film Festival 2016. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you've liked this video, please click uh, like and subscribe to our channel in order to see more and our more of our courage of coverage of the Durban International Film Festival 2016. I'll put a link to their website in our description box below, along with the rest of the critics' social media, so our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and uh, Instagram accounts. Um, we've been posting a lot there of uh, DIF 2016. I'm Matthew from The Critics, and this has been the Critics Review of the Durban International Film Festival 2016's feature film, Motel Mist.